China just launched something from the ocean that nobody was expecting. At 10.20 Beijing time this morning, a massive rocket lifted off from waters near Haiyang in Shandong province. This wasn't from a traditional launch pad, but from an offshore platform floating in the Yellow Sea. The Gravity One rocket deployed three satellites into orbit, including experimental payloads that China hasn't fully explained. This marks China's 61st launch this year and its second sea-based commercial rocket operation. But this is different from anything China has done before. The Gravity One weighs 405 tons at liftoff with 600 tons of thrust. It can carry 6.5 tons to low Earth orbit using solid fuel technology that allows launches within five hours of preparation. Commissioner Michael Kaiken from the US-China Economic and Security Review Commission warned Congress in April. China is following its proven playbook. It is systematically building infrastructure to iterate rapidly and seize dominance in space. These aren't distant dreams anymore, as Kaiken explained. These are concrete steps in a strategy to cement China's position as a global space power. The rocket launched from a mobile sea platform that China can position anywhere along its coast. This gives Beijing launch flexibility that fixed land sites can't match. Orion Space, the private company behind Gravity One, only formed in 2020. Yet they've already built the world's largest solid propellant commercial rocket with technology that rivals established space powers. Commissioner Cliff Sims told the US-China Commission this year that China has become a peer competitor. In some areas, they're now the world leader in technologies where they weren't even close just years ago. The Office of Director of National Intelligence confirmed China has achieved world-class status in all but a few space technologies. This development has enormous implications for military capabilities and global influence. But why launch from the ocean when China has multiple land-based facilities? Sea launches allow rockets to fly over water instead of populated areas. They can reach optimal orbital paths without geographic constraints that limit land sites. The Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center managed this mission despite being located inland. They've adapted their operations to control launches hundreds of miles away at sea. China's first Gravity One sea launch happened in January 2024. That mission deployed weather satellites and proved the concept could work reliably. Now they're accelerating the pace with more ambitious payloads. The wide field satellite launched today likely provides Earth observation or communications coverage across vast areas. The two experimental satellites remain classified but suggest ongoing military or intelligence capabilities development. China rarely reveals details about experimental payloads until years after deployment. This comes as China conducts intensive space activities across multiple programs. Recent weeks saw tests of the Qianlong-3 rocket engine and Long March 10 static fire demonstrations. The Commercial Space Federation's Redshift report warned the US Senate in September about China's trajectory. China isn't just racing to catch up, but setting the pace and redefining what leadership looks like above Earth. Former NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein testified it's highly unlikely America will match China's timeline, not unless recent budget cuts to NASA get reversed immediately. The solid fuel technology in Gravity One offers advantages over traditional liquid rockets. Solid motors can sit ready for months and launch with minimal preparation, time. Orion Space overcame major engineering challenges to make this work. The connection points between boosters and the core stage experience massive stress across areas the size of standard paper. Carbon fiber shells and medium energy propellant allow the rocket to handle these forces. The design bundles three core stages with four strap-on boosters that use flexible swinging nozzles. This technical approach marks a first for China's private rocket industry. It demonstrates capabilities that took Western companies decades to develop. But Orion Space isn't stopping with Gravity One's current design. They're already developing Gravity Two, a reusable rocket inspired by SpaceX's Falcon 9 technology. The implications extend beyond commercial satellites and space exploration. Mobile sea platforms could theoretically launch from international waters near any coastline. China now conducts over 60 launches annually, with this number growing each year. The pace suggests preparation for large constellation deployments requiring hundreds of satellites. Gravity One can deploy 30 satellites weighing 100 kilograms each in a single launch. This capability positions China to compete directly for commercial satellite contracts worldwide.
The October launch demonstrates China's space program has entered a new phase of operational maturity. They're moving from experimental missions to routine commercial operations at unprecedented speed.